is quite the journey right here. Basically, we met back in 2010, 10 years ago. How was that 10 years ago? It was like yesterday. And we met in the last video, like we said, we met at Sonic. Um, it was like right before homecoming. Um, we didn't end up going to homecoming together because I was already asked. And then, but after that, we started hanging out together. Um, we went to yeah. a haunted house. It was called Friday the 13th. I think Nightmare, we saw it. Nightmare oh. on 13th. Nightmare on 13th, which I'm pretty sure is still in Utah. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> I don't get scared very often. So I knew, like, going into this, like, I wasn't really going to get scared. I don't really get scared at haunted houses, you know. And I didn't realize that Tanner got scared so easily. I was a little skittish. And it was so funny because the entire time, we were in like the very front and the entire time he's like, like using me as a shield, like <laughs> trying to get me like to be in front of him. And I'm just like laughing the whole time because he keeps like being so scared. So I started hiding like as we were going through and I started so like dumb. jumping out at Tanner and like scaring him and it was so much fun like I was laughing so hard after we got back to like the parking lot of our school he kind of stayed in my car and before like getting out and everybody at this point like got in their cars and left so it was just like Tan and I in like the parking school parking lot in my car and I was like feeling so nervous because I knew he was probably gonna try and kiss me <laughs> It's always that, you know how it is, like the first kiss between a crush and you, it's like kind of awkward because you don't really know how the other person's feeling, you don't know if they're going to be down. I was just doing this the whole time. Just leaning <laughs> in, oh my gosh. Then he kisses me and the Best kiss. Best kiss of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. It freaked me out a little bit because, first of all, from the time we met to the time like this was, it was only like a week or two. It's Wait, pause. We had already told each other that we liked each other. No, we haven't. At this point? No, Are we haven't. sure? We hadn't. Wait, maybe. I remember thinking, we have already said we liked each other. A kiss is golden. Good to go. Mm, maybe we had said we liked I'm each like other. I'm like 90%. Well, there was. Did you text that? Text yeah, we didn't. Thing? Yeah, yeah. It was oh, like, high it was discussed over text. Oh, it just came off of like, this terrible relationship. So I kind of like went into this thinking like, okay, I want to take it slow. I don't really want a boyfriend, but I like, I'm having fun like flirting and stuff. Basically, <laughs> he kisses me. Let's just say Tanner wasn't the best kisser back in the day. And I feel bad because it was, I was just in a weird place. I think we went like a month without kissing again. Yeah, it was, a month. it was a long time, but like we stayed hanging out. I was just like not wanting to kiss again. Pretty yeah, I was just scared. Up. But then it got to the point, so we go, we go to Sadie's and it was super fun. We dressed up yeah. as Troy and, Troy and Gabriella. Gabriella. Super fun at the dance, it was awesome. Yeah. Come back and the friend drives away, like kind of like- Like egging give, on. Give like, you time to kiss, yeah. you know, do your thing. And so I'm like, sick, Lauren? gives me a hug and and goes like this <laughs> puts her head into my chest and i'm like oh and i like literally went like this like i hugged you like this i remember like going like this and turning like out of it so that i couldn't turns out of it sits so on the I steps and puts her head in between her legs did i put my head yeah in? it was so funny because like Oh my gosh, have I had that in there the whole time? I got it, right? Yeah. Gosh. Um, like something clicks in me and I'm like, what am I doing? Like this guy is so cool. He's so nice. Like we have so much fun. Why am I like being this weird girl? I remember we watched a movie or something. We walked outside to go to our cars. I remember like hugging Tanner. Like I could tell that like you were getting heart. nervous. Like, like you my started, breathing pattern it, changed. the breathing pattern <laughs> changed. And I could tell you were getting nervous just like when you proposed to me. Yeah. I could tell that you were getting nervous. So I was like, okay, he's going to try and kiss me. But I like knew I wanted to kiss him this time. It was just like a short and sweet kiss. And um, I remember him just being like, after just being like, yeah, yeah. like so <laughs> stoked. 
that kind of like switch just happened and we had our second first kiss yeah. and it was good and that was a good one and yeah after that it was like pure bliss it was so fun and i would get butterflies every single time i saw him and i was um i was a cheerleader and tanner was a baseball player so he was he was able to come to all the games that i cheered at um but we didn't get cheerleaders we did yeah we didn't <laughs> cheer for the baseball team it was kind of nice though because that way I could like come and watch him play yeah, it was awesome. and then he could come to like the football games, basketball games, he was able to like see me. And so um, I remember at basketball games he would walk in and my heart would just like drop and I would get like so many butterflies and like all my girls that I cheered with like look at me and like here's Tammy, like he's here. And I remember just being like oh my gosh like that's literally the hottest person I've ever seen in my life. And I would get so nervous and I'm like okay I gotta cheer like the best I can. Like I gotta, I gotta and really. And she did. She cheered really good. It's just like, you did like the show. <laughs> go. <No. laughs> Every time I was so excited for a game because I knew you would come, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, oh, like I'd get it's so, so nervous for like weird thinking about halftime like, shows. You'd come and watch me down on the field. Everyone would be like Tanner, like oh, like yeah. there's Lauren. It was just this fun thing. It stayed so light that like whole year. Yeah. Like it was just like butterflies and good vibes. Yeah. My eyes are getting a lot watery because oh. I'm thinking about it. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's been so long. I know. Don't make me cry. Oh, this is fun for us. But we haven't retold this whole story in a long time. Mm -mm. So re relive don't. it. Don't. <laughs> you made me be watery. <laughs> Um, moving on. Mo <laughs> Next part. <laughs> so, high school was fun. A lot of people had bad high schools. I had a really fun time in high school. And yeah. Lauren mm -hmm. was the biggest part of it. Like, everything, we did everything together. She was my first girlfriend, only girlfriend, and that was my life. I remember, um, gosh, why'd you make me freaking cry? <laughs> Um, I remember on random days that I would be late to school or whatever, I would I would literally be in the hallway with nobody else there because everyone's in class. All of a sudden I'd turn the corner and like Tanner would be walking down the hall going to the, like use the restroom or something. Or you would get there late and I would be going like down the hallway to like get a drink or like go to the restroom. And it was like this weirdest thing. It would only be us in the hallway and we'd just be like, oh, what? Hey. Like, hey. <laughs> and like it was still in that like nervous I felt that way the entire time we it dated was in high school. Always it was just this like too. nervous like butterflies constantly. We back. Okay, outfit change because <laughs> Tanner didn't tell me I was busting out my other top. Wow. <laughs> um, but can't start over because too much has been said. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I was wearing. <laughs> what we were saying. His family life was a little bit differently structured. A lot. It was way different than my family structure. A lot of you can relate, right? I was the oldest, Lauren was the youngest. So, mm -hmm. like, this is my first time bringing girls home. My, you know, my parents are like learning how it goes. I'm the guinea pig. This is the oldest child stuff. He would go um, to dinner with his family every night, and like that was kind of time when like either friends would go home or like they weren't really allowed to come over after like dinner, right? Yeah, yeah, basically it was like that was dinner, kind of like get your homework done and go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. So like And for me it out. was hard because I was just like, Okay, I wanna like hang out with you all the time. But so that made it so that we could only really hang out on the weekends. Because oh, like ten, we days. literally yeah, ten, weren't allowed days. to like be with each other all the time like I wanted to. And so it was just this like kind of bliss stage that stage that lasted the entire year. Literally perfect. Like we had the best time other than the very beginning when oh, my yeah. ex-boyfriend, I guess, should we touch on that? Yeah, it's kind of funny. One day I got back from a church, like, youth group thing, and I got back and there was Lauren's ex-boyfriend's truck was in my driveway. This is at like 8.30, 9 at night. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Oh, no, <laughs> like, and, and he was just known to get in fights all the time. And yeah, just kind of like. Yeah, it is, yeah, whatever. So anyways, I come home and I'm just like waiting and uh, nothing really happens. I'm kind of just like staring at the truck. Like I can see that there's people inside of it. 
and then all of a sudden just like floors it and like drives away. Yeah, so basically what had happened was we were in the same ward, which is just means like we were, we went to the same church building at the same time, and we were at that same like young men and young women's activity, and um, we lived like a few houses down from each other. And so like after the activity was done, this is like in the very beginning of Tan and I liking each other. So it's very like fresh, we're not dating, me and Tan, but like we're definitely liking each other. Um, he was like, hey, can I, uh, or like, I'll just take you home, I'll just drop you off at your house. And I was like, okay. It seemed harmless at the time. I got in and he drove straight to Tanner's house. He knew where he lived because his little sister played soccer with yeah. Tanner's little sister. Yeah. So um, he drove straight to his house and I was like, what are you doing? Like, where are we going? And his little sister's in the car, so it's like so weird. And I'm like, what is happening? Like, take me home. And he was just like, I'm gonna beat him up. I'm gonna freaking punch him in the face. I'm gonna go knock on the door and like punch him in the face. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, we're not together. That's when Tanner pulled up and I was just like, oh my gosh, he's never gonna talk to me again. I was so mad and finally he like agreed to just like drive away. And I remember just being like, oh, he's never gonna talk to me again. <laughs> and it lasted for a little bit, all this random stuff. But there's something about Lauren, a lot of you guys that know Lauren, she's just like, you just want to be around her. And I was so drawn to that. So we got through that. Got through that. Got through it. I remember my mom just loved Tanner because she did not like my previous boyfriend and for good, for good reason. And um, I was in a really dark place when I broken up with him. I, it was my first heartbreak. Um, I didn't know how to take it. He had like cheated on me with best friends and just a lot of crap had gone on and Tanner really did like save me from that. Like he took me out of this dark place and I like just did like a full 180 of like the people I was around were better. It was just the most fun I'd ever had in high school and like yeah, I think he like really saved me from that dark place. And so my mom just saw that as like this is somebody I can really see my daughter like being with. <laughs> Gosh. Anyway, yeah, it was really sweet, and yeah. Oh, that was high school. Uh, at the end of high school, they do this thing called prom. Mm -hmm. May I heard of it? So Tanner asked me to prom in the best way. I was on a cruise with a few seniors and one of my other friends. I was this four-day cruise. One of the stops was Catalina Island. We're like down on the beach, and this random Australian, probably 40 years old, he was like, Hey, is there a Lauren Williams here? <laughs> that was a pretty good accent. A little, a little British. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so bad. I'm sorry to my Australians out there. I can't <laughs> do it. He basically is like holding this bottle and it has like this like scroll, this old looking thing wrapped up inside of it. It's literally a message in a bottle. And he's like, this, I just found this. It just washed up. <laughs> Irish. I want to do the accent because it was so cool that he was Australian. It, it was. He's like, I just found this over here. I'm not going to do it anymore. Gosh dang it. And um, he, I'm like, yeah, I'm Lauren Williams. Like, I've never seen this guy in my life. And so I take the bottle and I'm like, what the heck? Like, how is this even possible right now? Like, my name's so common that I was like, at first my initial thought was like, what? Like, who this, I don't know if this is for me, but like, my that's my name. And then the second I opened it, like I knew it was from Tanner. Yeah. Because of his handwriting and like it was this full literal I did cursive on it. Too. Cursive. Like he has Tanner has beautiful handwriting. So I read this poem and I'm just like, my heart is pounding. I'm teary eyed because it's like a poem of like our story. It was just this whole really beautiful, awesome, like funny poem. So that's how he asked me to prom, which was so extravagant and like amazing and I couldn't believe it. Then we go to prom, and in Utah, we like to drag things out. So our proms were like a day date the night before prom. The day of prom, we'd have a day date, and then we'd have dinner, and then we'd go to the dance, and then after we'd have an after party. And there's just all these things. And our night before prom date. <laughs> yeah. We watched a movie in this like auditorium type of thing, 
and there wasn't enough seating for like all of us. So we sat on like a table like with like pillows, pillows trying yeah. to get more comfortable. And um, I remember like, I don't even remember what the movie was. I don't think I watched one second of it up until this point. Neither of us had said I love you. Like yeah. I knew I loved Tanner like months before this. Like we had been together for probably six months. I knew that I loved him, but I was way too scared to say it first. Like I wanted to know that he loved me back before I said anything. And Tanner starts like telling me this story. Yeah, it was like this boy something... and there was this girl. I didn't start it like that. I don't know yes, how I did. started it, but it ended. The way it ended was like in and what if that boy, it was like third person, like what if that boy said he loved the girl? And then Lauren was like, then the girl would say that she loved him back. Yeah. But it was like, it was, it was actually pretty, pretty cute. cute like, story he was trying to be beginning. really cute and smooth. I, I think it came off, very, to me, it came off very smooth and cute. Yeah. And it was like a very sweet moment for us because I like finally knew that like Tanner loved me too. So then the next day was prom. Right. It was so much fun. We got to really go cool. to the Flow Rider, this thing in Provo. It's like a little wave that you get a ride. Yeah. And so that was our day date. And then we went to the dance together and I won prom princess. I did not win prom whatever. Prom, prom king. king or prom prince or whatever it is. Wait, it's prom queen. Why were you the princess? Because there's a queen and there's a princess. I oh. didn't one queen. <laughs> but you were the most beautiful one. But the... I was one full <laughs> princess. Um, Tan and I were slow dancing. He, I remember him like leaning into my ear and like telling me like, I love you. And I just like, my eyes like welled up because I was so happy and just like, I've never felt so like, I like knew it was true that he loved me and I loved him so much I could have like died in that moment because I just wanted to tell him that for so long. Stop crying. You're gonna make me cry. And then I like told him back in his ears like I love you too. So it was a really sweet moment. I didn't even know what love was, but we were in love. We were in love. <laughs> People who say like you can't fall in love in high school are wrong. We did it. We were in love. It was young love. And, and boy has it grown. Yeah. That was our year. Yeah. Of like high school together. Because the year after that, Tanner um, left me. Yeah. And he was in college and I was a senior. We can call this part two. And next talk about basically after high school. Um, and what led up to us actually tying the knot. Are you ready to get up, girl? It's Wakens time. <laughs> Hi, <Hey>. beautiful. <laughs> oh! Yay! Oh, that moment's Wow. Can you tell everybody bye bye? Say bye bye. You say bye bye. Say like and subscribe. Say like and subscribe. <laughs> like first, and subscribe, first please. Words, like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, girl. That's sweet.